Hi and welcome to another video by me, Joe Unwin, also known as Flo Joe. Today we've got an exciting video. We're looking at RPA and how we can get RPA applications running on ARM-based architecture operating systems. Now, why is this important? Well, if you know anything about MacBooks and Macs and all of that type of thing, they are all moving to ARM-based architecture with the M series chips. Now they are on M3, but Windows is also releasing ARM-based architecture op operating systems. Windows 11 has an ARM-based architecture operating system. So it's really important to know, especially in the near future, if we're going to be able to run our RPA applications on these. So as you can see, I'm on a MacBook Pro, I'm on an Apple M3 Max, and this is all ARM based. Now, I'm going to go through how we run RPA applications such as Power Automate Desktop and UiPath on these. So firstly, what you're going to need is you're going to need Parallels. Now Parallels is an application to simulate running Windows on your Mac. Now obviously if you're running just an ARM based Windows you don't need this step but if you are on a Mac you need Parallels and you're going to have to install Windows 11 and you're going to need a CD key to authorize this. Once you've done that you've then got ARM based Windows running on your ARM based Mac and then you need to go through and download Power Automate Desktop and UiPath. Once you've done these, you will then be able to install these applications on your Parallels running Windows on your Mac so that you can then run your RPA applications. So let's take a look at UiPath for example, the first one. What I've got here is I've got an assign, I'm saving a variable to um, well, this runs on a um, ARM based machine and then I'm just writing a line. So let's press run and see how this runs then. Let's see how it actually performs. As you can see, ultra quick, runs perfectly on an ARM based machine. You don't have to worry about having a x86 architecture. You can just go straight into your ARM based system, install UiPath, but there is something very interesting about UiPath is the UI performs slightly slower, especially compared to Power Automate Desktop because it's not specifically made for ARM-based architecture. However, as you can see, it's run, it works perfectly. But if I try to move this now, let's say I come down here and I grab this, you can see that it's moving quite slow when I'm readjusting windows. That's the only thing that is slow. If you're changing the size of the window, that's the only time that you're going to experience this. So set it to full screen and just go with it and you won't have to ever think about this again. Now obviously I've zoomed in so that you can see this and I've blown it up so it looks quite bulky on my screen right now. But if I was just in my natural um, resolution, I will have a lot more room to play with and I will just open it up and I would leave it there. Now, but if I go onto Power Automate Desktop, you've got a lot more room, you've got a lot more visibility, it works a lot better, the UI works a lot better as well. And obviously, I'm speaking from slight bias here because our, um, Power Automate Desktop is my go-to RPA application. Now, I, I've got a similar thing, but I'm just setting a variable, I'm just calling it new var, and I'm setting it to the value of, whoa, this works on an ARM-based machine. So if I run this, you can see I've got my flow variables here. It's currently set to nothing. And now instantly it's already set there. And you can see how easy it is to run RPA applications on an ARM based machine, especially if you're on a Mac. So not only are you catered for any future changes in the Windows operating system architecture, you are also catered for Macs and the M series. So if you're out there and you're considering buying a Mac and you do a lot of RPA stuff, you just need to take into consideration that you're going to have to get Parallels or another VM simulation uh, type of application. My preference is Parallels, it just works, it's easy to use. And then you're going to need a Windows 11 uh, 
CD key to install that. You can get um, uh, like beta uh, operating systems of Windows that you want to install, but I don't recommend that, especially if you're creating RPAs. Definitely recommend buying a CD key if you're gonna do that. And then just simply install the applications. If you're working with UiPath, make sure that you set the UI to an appropriate uh, level because it is quite slow. As you can see here, it's quite it's quite laggy. Um, but if you are if you have it open and you've uh, you're you're just working and you're let's say just moving another one into here, um, it's relatively quick and there's no uh, lag at all and there's no slowdown, so you can simply go ahead and use it. Um, but if you're using Power Automate Desktop, you don't really find you have uh, any of these. It works very cleanly um, and I would definitely recommend Power Automate Desktop. But thank you for joining me on this video. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any queries, uh, throw a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to find any information about Power Automate Desktop or anything like that, check out my website, www.flojo.io. Thanks. Bye.